Benedict. He is a great theologian. Pope Benedict. He says, faith is not, uh, when he says, we say, it is easy for us. Faith is mystery. Faith is mystery. Faith is a uh, darkness. We don't know what is happening. And Pope telling us, when we say, faith is a mystery, means it is not the darkness. And it is a, a great expectant hope. Faith is an, a great expectant hope. How the creation takes place? Creation takes place by the word of God. When we say, only good things are coming to me, only good things are coming to me, only good things are coming to me, what is going to come? And that is why hope is telling. It is an expectant hope. How the word we are confessing, the word, word has a power to release of power of creation. The creation takes place by the word. In the beginning there was word and everything created by the word and nothing is created without the word. So when we say only good things are coming to me, Today is the Lord's day. Today is an exciting day. Today is a joyful day. Today is a blessed day. Only good things are coming. Good things are coming. Good things are coming to us. That is the teaching of Pope Benedict, the great theologian about the faith. I am going to take about the faith. Before just I was wanted to explain why we do the meditation. I did not give the introduction to the, we do the meditation and when we understand the science behind the meditation, we love it, we enjoy it, we are, we will be passionate about every day to, to do the meditation. And according to science world, according to the science world, the greatest scientist ever lived in the world is Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. And his theory, the greatest theory is considered ever presented into the world, in the science world, the greatest discovery is his discovery presented is equal to MC square. It is a science, absolutely science. It is what is science? Science means it is hypothesis. First we present the hypothesis, then experiment it, verify it, prove it, it become theory. Scientifically it is a guaranteed theory and it is proved it. And that is why science, when we under, understand the science behind all our trials, we will be we will be enjoy the pride. We will enjoy the pride. And this is the energy we come. Energy is equal to MC square. V is equal to MC square means V means energy. Energy become MC square means matter. Matter, the reality. The things become that material thing. Energy become material thing. How the energy, what is this energy? How the energy is created? Energy is created by our thought and emotions and feelings. It is energy is created in our life. It is by our thought, feelings and emotions. And that thought, feelings and emotions and the vibrational frequency, it create whatever you want to become the material reality. How the thought and feeling and how the thought is generated. How the thought is generated, how the emotions are generated, how the thoughts are created. Thoughts are created by the word. Thoughts, are, suppose you go for a marriage party, the music is playing, everybody is dancing. What is the emotions you are having? What is the feeling you are having? It is a celebrative mood. How these celebrative emotions are created? It is by the word. And that is why the Bible says, Gospel of John 1 40, the word became flesh. 
word became flesh and what Einstein said and 2000 years back Jesus the Bible presented the word became flesh word became flesh so that is why we confess the word of God uh, I for the last 35 years every day morning when I get up my spiritual, not spiritual father, my rector gave me the word of the book written by Norman Winston Peale and he is a, uh, I think he is a Protestant pastor and uh, his book is very famous, Power of Positive Thinking and uh, it is published in all the various important languages and even now also it is a world hit, the power of positive thinking. When I, and he gave me the present of the Bible, this book, to study the English language because it is a very powerful motivation book. So when we get the motivation also, we will try to read the Bible, read the book. And I opened the book and he is telling, when you get up in the morning, you close your eyes and think about the night uh, before when you get up in the morning think about the night 10 o'clock the time you are going to sleep and say today is the Lord's day today is an exciting day today is a joyful day today is a blessed day only good things are coming only good things are coming great and glorious things are coming to me Great and glorious things are coming to me. And my life is beautiful. My life is beautiful. Great things are happening through me. Great things are coming to me. Great things are happening through me. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. My life is beautiful. And looking at Jesus early morning say, when I did the first day, I checked it evening night, 10 o'clock before going to sleep. Yes, the world became flesh. That day was wonderful. Then I did it second day. I did third day. I did the whole week. I did the second week. I did the third week. I did the whole month. I did the second month. I did the third month. I did the whole year. I did the second year. Third year throughout my life, when I get up in the morning and say, Confess the word of God. Today is the Lord's day. Today is an exciting day. And repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. And repetition is a great secret. And it becomes a deep belief in our heart. And my life becomes beautiful. My life becomes we have absolute control absolute control when we confess the word that word we confess it is in the divine realm the creation happens that is why we confess in the deeper realm in the meditation so that is why not the retreat all the retreat I conduct this meditation process and directly blocking the conscious mind deep into the subconscious mind and transform, anoint their heart with the word of God and the word we plant in the, the sowing the seed, sowing the seed in the heart, sowing the seed, the seed in the heart and when you sow the seed what will happen? Sowing and reaping. The word of God is a seed. We plant it and we get the result. We get the result. Sometimes people ask me, Father, how you do the healing process? And I am very happy yesterday, Father Dai invited me. The moment he invited me, I became so excited. I saw the three children. And four days, if you are interested, you can also join. It. And we have a beautiful, wonderful uh, training program for all these local people. How to pray, how to heal, how to receive the blessing. Four days till Friday night to go back home. 
this one day to stay. Two hours we get it, no? Father? But one hour. One hour. But no, what, no, 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 whatever may be. 45, that is enough. So we we'll teach how to transform the life. We we'll teach the transform directly in me. Once this simple people know, people ask, them, ask me, how do you get the key? See, ten times when you say, I am tired and tired, what happened? The word become flesh. He become, the word we confess, it become energy, it become matter. The word when we say, I am tired and tired, it go into the brain. It go into the every sense of the body and become tired. Exactly the same way. And how the miracle happens, the healing sign. And Jesus sent the word upon the sick. They were healed. And when we say, I am healed, I am healed. It is not my word. It is book of Isaiah 53, 5 and thousands and thousands time. When we say, thousands and thousands time, when we say, I am healed, I am healed, I am healed, I am healed. I am healed. What happened? We have a great saint. It is a modern saint. Not like first century or third century saints. No. It is a saint who lived with us. Saint Padre Pio. And every day he comes to the altar. When he get down from the altar every day, six hours he stands on the altar. And when he come to the altar, all over the world, all over the world, people used to come. What is the six hour, what he does in the altar? All over the world, all kinds of sick people, whatever it is incurable diseases, deadly diseases, paralyzed people all over the world, Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and kilometer people are coming, attending his holy mass, and he confessed by Jesus' word, he was healed. And how long? Six hours continuously. And every time he confessed, I am healed, I am healed, I am healed, and to transfer into every cell of the body. Now for six hours, whoever may be from any part of the world, part of the sickness, people are healed. People are healed. And according to the science, every cells, every cells, your lifespan, according to science says, Within 90 days, all the cells are replaced. All the human cells are replaced. It is, old cells are died, new cells are created. Millions and trillions, all the cells are everything. It is replaced. When we give that consciousness, maybe three months, four months, whether it is a leukemia, blood cancer, tube, say, completely heal, 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 heal. And what happens? If you believe it. The faith is for believe and receive. It is, it is yours. And completely healed. And by repeating, repeating, you go into the subconscious mind. By meditation, and meditation within five minutes it goes into the subconscious mind. That is why we do the meditation. Meditation. And the miracle. That is the secret of healing. That is the secret of great. And uh, Father Tony told me how to become effective priest. How when we understand how the science of the prayer, science of prayer, it is working. And what I am telling you today, you have to ask the Holy Spirit. My, as a priest, what are the result I have to create it? And what the Holy Spirit spoke to me? 
Why we have to celebrate only one family? Why can't I see? See, when I heard this priest was when this priest was speaking, I traveled a lot for one family. Then what is the what is came into my mind means what I my mind my mind means it is my own personal share. What the Holy Spirit spoke to me, why we celebrate for one one family? Just to see in our create a vision in our mind. How the creation takes place. How the creation is equal to MC square. You create the your spiritual for your priestly life, you create a vision. What I have to do. And I create the vision. What is faith? Faith is seeing the unseen. I created that day after the talk. I went to the blessed sacrament and I said, Lord, give me a larger vision. Larger vision. Larger vision. A large number of people is sitting in front of me. Wherever I go, that day I wrote it. The faith affirmation paper I will give to you. Where I go, the church is full, hall is full, balcony is full, courtyard is full, ground is full. That day I wrote it. Wherever I go and preach, we don't know where we are going. But, and I created the vision. The church is full, hall is full, balcony is full, courtyard is full. Father, we had that Borivili uh, church, no? What is my, my sentence is correct or not? Church is full, ground is full, hall is full, market is full, cemetery is full, everywhere is full. How it is happened? It is not there by chance, it is not happening. It is I created. If you come to my office, it is like a father is written in the vision statement and vision statement. I wrote it. That Jesus name. My proclamation. My proclamation. I had gone, I had gone to Abu Dhabi when the Pope was coming. Last year, no? Pope was came. And they told me, Father, you celebrate Mass with the Pope. I did not go out to the celebrate mass. I celebrated, of course, joined, celebrated in the, as a, in the community of the people. The reason it is, 12 hours, that is, Pope was coming, morning, 10 o'clock. Night, 10 o'clock, seat has to be occupied. We reach around 12 o'clock, night, almost 10 hours. And the whole 10 hours, and such a large number of people, lots of the people sitting whole ground is filled. I was just visualized, imagined, visualized. I was taking the feeling, I was taking the emotions, I am taking the energy. Yes, Lord, I preach for the big crowd. You understand? Are you getting? What is the meaning of E is equal to MC square? Energy is created by our vision, our emotions, our feeling, our word. And once it is created, it is a science, it is getting manifested. I got down from there, then directly I conducted Borivili. Around 25,000 people died. One of the biggest parish in the Bombay Archdiocese. And it is really manifest. See, that is why the more today's you have to write down and what is the God's plan for me? What I have to do, what I have to achieve, and I, we have to confess great things are happening to me and through me. Both words. Great things are happening. To me and through me. God is anointed me for preaching that I preach. And I get that anointing I use 
preaching for thousands and years. Great things are happening through me. Great things are happening. So that is why you have to prepare. Ask the Holy Spirit. And that is why in the retreat time, we keep a silence. And we get connect with the divine realm, the spiritual realm, and you get inspiration. Each person is a unique person. A unique person. I am a parish priest. And, and God gives me. Because I keep my vision to preach the word of God, I pray for the work of evangelization, and what happens? I get both these things up. Missionary work, I am able to I, I am able to get baptize the people. I am getting able to get because I am praying for, I am praying with the word of God. Hallelujah. So you understood why we do the meditation. Meditation means 90% of our hidden power is released. And when the power is released and we create in the spiritual world whatever we are, if possible. And maybe one month or two months you may have difficulty to get up in the morning. And later you become, you become it will become a practice. It will become practice. I used to give the retreat, the meditation program five times. Five, morning, five o'clock. Now everything it is a Zoom, no? We can conduct the... So I am ready to help you if anybody wanted to join with me. Uh, want to join me. Early morning you have to get up. You sit in your bedroom, that is enough. And I give the... I talk to meditation. Meditation in the... Maybe 21 days when you do it, you become a habit. Become So always remember in our life, why we do the meditation? To release our hidden power. We reach into the divine menu. We are reaching in the divine menu. We get a spiritual connection. That is the reason. And whatever we confess, it is completely 100% guaranteed. Guaranteed. And uh, suppose we have the cough. Cough. When we say in the meditation, we say it is completely dried up. Dried up. Dried up. What happens? Yeah. It gets dried out. And we say, what I am de doing, I, my healing rosary is there. By Jesus' word, I am completely healed. I tell them, you switch on in the morning, you listen it, I am healed, I am healed, I am healed, I am healed, I am healed. And what will happen? Doctor might have said, you may live only one month, you may live only two months. And but after three months, he will come with the healing testimony. Even the doctors have come with the leukemia patients. Uh, Brother may be knowing the Antony in Sakinaka, no? Mm -hmm. Antony. He's, he was a young person, got married, and uh, his wife got a blood cancer. And uh, he was, he don't understand, he, he was telling, I don't understand why they are not treating. They are told him leukemia. He did not, uh, he don't understand what is the meaning of leukemia. <laughs> he was telling, I did not understand. And, Finally, doctor. Then he asked them, why you are not giving any medicine? And nothing to do. Only medicine to lose. Then he got shocked. He cried and came to me. Then I told him, if the doctor said only two months, you come, we give the, we have the healing prayer, and after three months, we give the question. Still she is alive. Yesterday also she had come, the family had come and said that she was telling I told you told me a thousand times you repeat, I am healed, I am healed, I am healed, I am healed, I am healed. And what happened? He was telling, I want to is he there young couple? I want my wife. And I confessed. I confessed five thousand. And after 
three months, I came to the altar and said, by Jesus' Lord, completely He. So that is the power of the of God. That is a, when we, how to operate it, that we study it. Okay? So just I wanted to, I want to make you understand what is the importance of meditation. Why we have to repeat the word of God? The same word I am repeating 35 years. Today is the Lord's day. Today is an exciting day. Today is a joyful day. I said my life is beautiful. So what happens? 35 It becomes a deep belief. And if you have a belief, my life is difficult. What will happen? Your energy becomes light and light becomes difficult. That is why for this simple, I like the tribal people. They are simple people. Whatever you tell, they believe it. And lot of healing and miracle I have happened to me in when I go for the uh, mission in the poor people because they believe it. They believe Chanka Hoke. Chanka Hoke. Father Changa Hogya, ten times you tell them to repeat Changa Hogya, Changa Hogya. And what happens? It is a faith. It is a faith. And the more and more we confess, Bhatra Pino is a testimony. See, six, I was thinking that only. If he is a contemporary saint, it is in our community, in our life, six hours he did it. And that is why every Sunday, every Sunday, 12 o'clock, I expose the Blessed Sakha. 12 o'clock, lunch, after the church morning service and everything, then after evening only the service. So, in the lunch, 12 o'clock, I expose the Blessed Sacrament. I tell them, you repeat thousand times. Nothing else. Invoke the power of the Holy Spirit and in the faith. Yes, I am healed by Jesus' womb. If anybody attended, Father Brother knows my parish. And nothing else. And more than 3,000 people have given that test. The miracle man, it is not I published it. When I went to Goa, every month I used to go to Goa. I used to go to Goa in the different centers. And even the private and the, the lay people's programs and all. Lot of time I have gone into uh, Kalamut and just claim I am completely healed, I am completely healed, I am completely healed, I am completely healed, I am completely healed. And the more and more we confess, what happened? I was having uh, one priest, he was 70 years old, and he was thinking. I am old. And suddenly he got awareness. The moment I think old, only then problem will happen. And he said, I am healthy, strong and powerful. I am young, energetic. I am young, energetic. I am healthy, strong and powerful. The very next day he threw away his stick and started to come in the scenery before the, uh, all the sports and games. And he lived up to 92 years. He was not using his stick or anything. He's an American priest. Strong, strong, <coughs> healthy, strong. He himself said, I am healthy, strong and powerful. And when you say, I am always perfectly healthy, strong and powerful, will you get a sickness? Never. You will never get a sickness. You say, I am vaccinated in the blood of Jesus. I am perfectly healthy, strong and powerful. And you become perfectly healthy, strong and powerful. And we take a small song. Anyway, I will continue in the lecture session also. Just take a small song.
father it will be very difficult for for them wait for a long time six months one or one year two year some time and what I did it next flight I took the ticket I went to go up at the station and came back so why because I created he was so so Lord I was seeing when I am preaching I see the crowd and you say about the health you can decide you say it I am healthy, strong and powerful. You claim I have a long life and blessed life. When you say I have long life and I am healthy, strong and powerful, what will happen? This I whatever I am preaching because of the testimonies only. I remember one old lady, 90 year old. And she told me, one night she called me, father called, she called me for anointing of the sick. And she told, father, I need the anointing of the sick. Are you here? And said, I am here only. And come into the oil. I took the oil, I prepared for the sacrament of confession and the holy communion. I went to the night, I went and she told me, so far, I never taken any tablet or medicine. Every day I recite, in Jesus, I am always perfectly healthy, strong and powerful. Me sustrum, mastrum, tandristrum, sada sarvada, me sustrum, me sada sarvada, sustahe, mastahe, tandristahe, me sustrum, mastrum, tandristrum. And she confessed. 250 times, 90 years, she lived without medicine and tablets. And she said, Father, today morning, I asked Jesus. Jesus told me, Mara Betty, are you not coming to me? <laughs> are you not coming to me? You are perfect. Regularly she comes for the mark. And that day she said, Yes, Lord. And I changed my prayer. And I offer my soul. I hand over my soul. Morning onwards to the IJ. And she prayed and prayed. She received the anointing of the sick. The very next to that morning, she died. She died. So beautiful. So that is why you have to design about your health. You design about your relationship. You should not tell all are against you. No. Who is against you? Your tongue is against you. Creation is taking place by your tongue. You understand? And you say, I love everybody. Sweetheart of Jesus, be thou my love. I love everybody. I receive the love and support. I receive the love and support. When you claim, I receive the love and support. Your relationship, your health, your, uh, your pastoral ministry, your parish ministry, everything you can design it and ask the Holy Spirit you can design your family. You just bless the family. When you bless the family, what will happen? Every day you spend 20 minutes. You sit in your room and bless them. You bless your father, your brother, your sister. And Lord, send the spirit of love, joy, peace, harmony. Shower the richness upon them. When you bless your family members, what will happen? They will be blessed. That is why any one of you in your family accept Jesus the Lord and Savior. Your whole family is saved. There should be somebody for intercession. And it is our duty to intercede for our family members. Bless them. Our family will be blessed. You bless our health. Bless our people. I used to pray for my parishioners. Lord, seal them, protect them. They are healthy, strong. Generally, I never used to get a funeral service also. Brother Jason was. And I tell them, you can die only after my transfer. <laughs> <laughs> See, it is, I bless them every day when I get down from the altar, I pray, Lord, I get up in the morning, they all are sealed and protected. They are healthy, they are blessed. They live in that. Of 
course, that is a natural process. I mean, uh, once in a while this happens, that's, that's a different matter. Generally, it all happens. Recently, only one person in the lockdown, I was not there in the parish. So that is why today, within five days, today you have to begin, you have to design your pastoral plan, your missionary plan, your personal plan, your life, you have to design it. And this you have to program and the suitable words in all the areas, you have to find out. If you are not able to find out, I am ready to help you. And this word of God, you have to design it, you have to use it in the deep trans meditation. Any children you design them, I am confident, I am confident, I am confident. What will happen? They become confident. It is our, that is our pastoral duty. I remember uh, when I celebrated Mass, I reached the sacristy, one of my youth member, one girl was crying like everything. Crying like everything. Then I called the altar boys. This church is crying. She, you call her. Then I asked why you are crying. Father, I am writing for CA. I am writing for CA. And every time I am getting faith, my heart is broken. Then I told, you take a paper. I am, her name was Maggi. I told her, I am Maggi Chartered Accountant. You write it down. Keep that vision in, in, in front of the family altar. God's wisdom is upon me. God's wisdom is upon me. I write my exam excellently. I will see great victory. I am Maggi Chartered Accountant. She wrote it and printed and that vision I created, designed it. After some times, and again, one day, she was sitting and crying like everything. I called the boy. All the boys, you call her. Why you are crying? Father, I am Maggie Chattered Accountant. I passed my answer. With a great joy, I am crying. Years of my joy. So we can achieve everything whatever we want. And that is why God is giving us God's supernatural Holy Spirit. We have to release that power of God. Amen. That is why we are doing the meditation. Meditation is a Contemplation, it is a greatest powerful source of releasing the hidden power to it is in our spiritual life. In our spiritual life, highest form of prayer. And to release the hidden power is a meditation. God bless you and understand the value of meditation and contemplation. Mother Teresa, such a soft she created morning, nobody can touch her. She is in completely trance. Till around 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. She is such a early morning, around 4 hours. She is in the trance, in the anointing. And 700 house, can you imagine? One soft lady, 700 houses she built up. 700 houses. The whole houses, all the formation houses are full all the time. Can you imagine a woman, fragile person can do it? It is in everybody. You have to learn it how to do the meditation. The power of Mother Teresa is meditation, contemplation. Our former bishop was telling, I am concluding, our former bishop was telling, 
just to see one day she had came to the bishop house from one prison and it's a great honor for Mother Teresa. And he was his given in the in the in the life history it is written. He went behind her to the chapel, like a visitor for one minute or two minutes, no? he waited. And the program, the, the, she was to be a present at 5 o'clock or something. She reached at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock, 2 4 o'clock, it's the lunch time. All the way traveled from there and she reached here. It is a time to relax and sleep. Siesta. And 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock, she was in absolutely in trance. She was in prayer in front of the Blessed Sacrament. And Bishop was telling, she is a great person, saintly person. That is why I went her into the church. I thought he will, she will get up now, she will get up. The way I stood there, I remained there, I had to stand there two hours. I was shocked. That is the reason. She is able to create 700 houses. <coughs> she was able to release the divine power. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Realize the power of meditation, power of contemplation.